Building a facility to the most modern building codes usually ensures good performance over the life of a building. But in this case, it caused a problem that took 40 years to correct. This is the story of one of those unintended consequences. In 1981, with the city growing at a rapid pace, the need for a larger and more modern police facility was critical to the success and safety of the city. The 1914 building on Main Street was no longer suitable to accommodate a modern law enforcement agency, so a new state-of-the-art building was designed and built on Burnell Avenue. The building was constructed with all of the modern emergency infrastructure available at the time. Redundant electrical, radio, and telephone communication systems, concrete interior walls to resist earthquakes, and the latest fire protection system available. The mechanical engineers that worked on the building made every effort to design a trouble-free, long-lasting facility, and for the most part, they were successful. But there was one little detail that caused a long-term issue that was only recently corrected. In the middle of the building, there are two small restrooms that serve the interview rooms, the detectives, and the command staff. And this is where a little line on the drawing page caused 40 years of trouble. The two toilets were connected to a single drain line, which is typical. But the code-compliant way they were connected made using any kind of mechanical device to clear the line from obstruction nearly impossible. Every time there was a backup, clearing the line could only be done with superficial devices and never anything that would scour the pipe, so the problematic material continued to build up in the line, causing more and more backups. Finally, the restrooms were taken out of service since they would back up with just about every flush, and a new in-house ADA-compliant design was brought forward that would finally solve the 40-year-old problem and give the restrooms an updated appearance. A contractor was selected, and the work started in October of 2022. A complete demolition of all of the existing walls, ceiling, flooring, and four feet of earth below grade to expose all of the original plumbing was the first order of business. During demolition, the problem piece of sewer line was removed and all new cast iron piping was installed. We included separate sewer lines for each toilet and several new cleanout locations so no one would ever have the issue we faced again. Once the underground work was completed and tested, a new concrete floor was poured and then steel framing was built. The door locations were changed to allow an easier entrance path and to comply with the latest ADA guidelines. After the framing was complete, all of the plumbing and electrical above grade was roughed in, and blocking for the grab bars was installed. Drywall was next, followed by tile, and then the countertops. Once all of that was completed, final painting and finished trim on the lighting was installed. The restrooms now have a timeless look, are trouble-free, and are back in service, ready to serve for the next 40 years. <laughs>